Hi everyone, Phil Moreira here, litigation lawyer at the law firm Valent Legal, and we're here today talking about some of the most commonly asked questions we get about what to do after a car accident. Knowing the right steps to take after a car accident is important not only to optimize your recovery if you're injured following a car accident, but also to make sure that your claims go as smoothly as possible in the event that you bring claims forward after a car accident. For more information, you can visit our website at valentlegal.ca or follow us on Instagram. Feel free to leave us any questions you might have about car accidents down below, and let's get into what to do after a car accident. The first thing that you'll want to do following a car accident is to check yourself and any passengers for injuries. It's important to do this first, of course, to make sure that any steps you might take next can be done in a safe manner and to make sure that you're not going to be doing anything to further complicate any injuries that you might have sustained. What you should typically do when you're checking for injuries is check your own body and check the bodies of any passengers who might be in the vehicle as well. Make sure you have control of your faculties and senses, smell, taste, proper motion in your neck and back. And from there, if everything is okay, you can move on to the next steps. Some common car accident injuries that are important to be aware of are of course sprains, strains, and whiplash related injuries, bodily injuries that cause physical pain or restrictions in your movement. Concussions can also be very common injuries following car accidents and because of that it's important to not overexert yourself or try to do too much in the event that you have suffered a concussion after a car accident. So after you've checked yourself and any passengers for injuries, if everything seems okay, the next thing that should be done is gather information. What this usually entails is getting out of the car and speaking to other parties involved if it's safe to do so. The most important pieces of information to gather following a car accident are the identities, the names and contact information of anyone else involved in the car accident, as well as their insurance information, their insurance company, their policy number with that insurance company, and if possible, the information on their driver's license, such as the validity of their license, the expiry date if it's appropriate, just to make sure again that all of their information is taken accurately. This information is collected. The best way in this day and age is to take a photograph of insurance information, which is typically contained on what are called pink cards that most drivers keep in the glove box in their vehicle while they're driving. And otherwise, if you're not able to take photographs, be sure to either write the information down or communicate it to someone who can write it down. If you notice that there might be any independent witnesses to the car accident, it's important to collect their information as well. Their information includes, of course, their name, their contact information, whether it's phone number, number or email. It's important to have their information uh, in the event that they need to relay what they've seen in the event that your claim is disputed in the future. So after you've collected the information, assuming that it's safe to do so, um, it might also be wise to file what's called a police report with the local police or the RCMP. What this does is it allows the police to keep information of what took place during the accident in a centralized database. Again, whether it's municipal police or the RCMP, they keep those records on file within the police department and it makes sure that all that information is kept securely and in one place. Police often attend the scene of an accident in any event, but in the event that they don't, what you can do after the fact is contact your local police by phone or in person and to file the accident report that way if the police are not there at the scene of the collision. And if they are, typically they will collect this information themselves and a police report will be rendered after the fact. Typically, we recommend that you file a police report no matter what. Some literatures will tell you that police reports only have to be filed if the property damage exceeds a certain level, but our recommendation is generally to file a police report no matter what if you've been involved in a car accident. So once all the information is gathered, whether it's you know on your own or through the police, the next thing you'll want to turn your mind to is whether or not to file an insurance claim. So the first thing you should do uh, if you've experienced any kind of injuries whatsoever is report this car accident to your insurance company and open what's called an accident benefits claim, otherwise known as a Section B claim. This claim will afford you any treatment that you might need directly following an accident, such as physiotherapy, massage therapy, things of that nature. And again, in Nova Scotia, it's a fairly user-friendly process. It's okay for you to talk directly to your own insurance company to set up an accident benefits claim. And again, you should do that directly following a car accident. Typically, it's best to file an accident benefits claim straight away after an accident. The sooner the better, frankly, to make sure that your treatments are in place in the right way and in a timely fashion. Typically, an, an insurance claim, an accident benefits claim should be filed within 90 days of the accident. So in addition to any accident benefits claim that you might set up with your own insurance company, if you've sustained injuries in a car accident, you also might see fit to file what's called a Section A claim or an injury claim against the at-fault driver's insurance company. Again, this is something that's 
should be done as soon as practicable if you have in fact sustained injuries. And before doing so, it's always in your best interest to consult with a personal injury lawyer just to make sure you're moving the claim forward in the proper way and to make sure that all of the information is accurate before you move a claim forward with the at-fault driver's insurance company. So what will happen when you bring a Section A claim or a bodily injury claim against the at-fault driver's insurance company is the at-fault driver's insurance company will appoint what's called an insurance adjuster. Your personal injury lawyer can process the claim with the insurance adjuster. The insurance adjuster will be interested in what your injuries are, what kind of treatments that you're getting, and whether or not you've uh, suffered any income loss or whether you're off work as a result of your injuries. In the typical bodily injury claims process, your personal injury lawyer will take care of everything as it relates to the other or at fault drivers insurance company's adjuster. All that you really need to do in the meantime is focus on your treatment and make sure that everything is going the way it should in terms of getting the medical care that you need. Okay everyone, those are answers to the most commonly asked questions that we get about what steps you should take following a car accident. Please let us know if you have any further questions in the comments section below and if you'd like any further information please visit our website at valentlegal.ca or follow us on Instagram. If you liked today's video, found it helpful or informative, please feel free to subscribe and uh, we'll see you next time.